the wait is over. The rumors are history. We now know the seven members of the new standing committee of the Political Bureau of the 20th Central Committee of the Communist Party of China, China's ultimate authority, led by CPC General Secretary Xi Jinping, who is core of the Central Committee and of the whole party. To understand China, we should get to know the six other members, including the four new members, and understand their backgrounds. They have much in common. All have postgraduate degrees with a diversity of majors. Law, economics, engineering, literature, several have management degrees. All began at grassroots levels, working their way up the political administrative ladder. Five of the seven have run provinces or major municipalities, each the equivalent in population size and GDP of independent countries. I have two overarching observations. First, each of the members has deep expertise and long experience in running critical sectors of the Chinese government. Second, the group is politically coherent. In light of Xi's concerns, he highlights immense risks, grave challenges, and arduous tasks. It is a team that he can trust. In the spirit of full disclosure, I have known three of the seven members personally for years, in fact, for 16 to 19 years. With my long-term partner, Adam Jew, I have had private meetings, conducted interviews, worked on projects, many are in the public record. First, of course, to no one's surprise, is CPC General Secretary Xi Jinping, who is also President of the country and Chairman of the Central Military Commission. She and his philosophies and policies are the focus of all my deep message commentaries, so I need not elaborate here. Second is Li Chang, the party secretary of Shanghai. Li was governor of Zhejiang province, China's fourth largest GDP and the cradle of entrepreneurship. Party secretary of Jiangsu province, China's second largest GDP and of the Shanghai municipality, China's leading commercial center. The combined GDP of these three powerhouse economies approaches $4 trillion, over 20% of China's national GDP, and if an independent country, they would constitute the fifth largest country in the world. In one of my meetings with Li Chang while researching and filming Zhejiang's environmental innovations in May 2016, we discussed Zhejiang's pioneering programs in ecological civilization. In addition, Li had innovation and entrepreneurship on his mind, as the next day, May 6th, he would meet 10 new generation entrepreneurs. He said the innovative generation is key to industrial transformation. Third is Zhao Liji, the head of the 19th CPC Central Commission for Discipline Inspection, China's corruption buster since 2017. Zhao was party secretary of two provinces, Qinghai and Shanxi. Fourth is Wang Huning, a distinguished professor of international politics and law, and formerly the first secretary of the CPC Secretariat responsible for ideology. Wang is an incisive scholar and sophisticated political and geopolitical thinker, known for his creativity in political theory and insights in international affairs. When I received the China Reform Friendship Medal on December 18, 2018, as all the leaders, led by President Xi, walked by, Wang glanced my way and, with a twinkle in his eye, asked in English, Do you remember me? We both smiled. Fifth is Tsai Chi, the first secretary of the CPC Secretariat, responsible for day-to-day -day party affairs, and the party secretary of Beijing, a sensitive responsibility. He was president of the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics Organizing Committee, working with international organizations. Prior, Tsai had party and government roles in Fujian and Zhejiang provinces. Sixth is Ding Xuexian, who has been director of the CPC Central Committee General Office, thus Xi Jinping's chief of staff. Ding always travels with Xi. Trained as an engineer, Ding had multiple leadership roles in Shanghai, from science and technology to political and legal affairs. Seventh is Li Xi, who was also elected to the 20th CPC Central Commission for Discipline Inspection. 
He's the party secretary of Guangdong province, whose GDP approaches $2 trillion. Prior, Li was party secretary of Liaoning province. Earlier, he was party secretary of Yan'an in Shanxi province, the famed site of Mao's revolutionary base. Of course, there are more things commonly known that can be said about each member and about the group as a whole. President Xi Jinping has put forth a grand vision of China's great rejuvenation, along with a sober assessment of the struggles that lie ahead. That's the mission of the new Standing Committee. The challenge is large.